Okay, should I even ask what happened last night? <sighs> I know, naughty eh? Don't be shy, I know all about it. But what, you and Sophie? Is it that obvious? The last thing I expected was you and him getting it on. You think that Brody and I slept together last night? So you two aren't hooking up? No way. As if. <laughs> He's an employee, end of. Brody, it's official. My brother is dazed and confused. What's that, a new name for a cocktail or something? No, Hunter thinks that you and I, you know, last night. <laughs> you and I what? You know. Oh, dude. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> right, well, that doesn't make you need a drink. I don't know what does. Uh, Survivor Scotland, please. Oh, one each on the house. As you wish. Um, I might actually just make this batch for you guys and then head home, if that's OK. Well, come on. We'll have one drink, then we'll hit the clubs and blow our tips. Yes? So we'll be spending your money for a change, bro. I am in. <sighs> Lame alert, but I'm actually kind of tired. Ah, uh, it's Brody speak for booty call. Hey, I'm not a player. <laughs> Who are you kidding? <laughs> Do you want to take over? I don't think I've ever seen him tired. Yeah, well, I'm only human, right? Goody. My turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gerald, you're our highest-ranking admin staffer. We couldn't not interview you. Good night. You're hungry post-boudoir. I get that. But? Well, phone calls about the EA job. I'm a career girl. You're also amazing. I will be when I open the private wing two days from now. <laughs> That's a little ambitious. Why? Sarah's got the GP side of things sorted. We need to catch up. Time for phase two? Surgical. Singapore is like a shot in the arm. Yeah, a shot of crazy. I don't take risks. I had a lot of downtime in the hotel. The setup for the private wing is dumb. You saw all my chats to William. I CC'd everything to you. I thought he said maybe. I knew you hadn't checked your emails tonight. He said yes. And if we roll out the private wing this week, we'll get the transition costs on the books in time for October. For the funding round? Mm. You don't think you're pushing it a bit? We're ready. Well, I told you, you're amazing. Fresh flowers and only the finest linen. Along with a la carte dining, private television, phone and internet access, Kev, please say yes. Yes. Excellent. And smiling, happy, unharried nurses? Who only have to walk a few steps around the corner. It's no big deal. Will my nurses be nursing or heating up dinners and making lattes? And applying lipstick before entering the room. The nurses' caseload stays the same. Six patients per shift. It's just that sometimes some of those patients will be private. The headline for surgical is that little has changed, other than the way the schedule operates. Mm, it's definitely more flexible. More efficient, too. Private operations will plug the gaps in the OR schedule. Exactly. And vice versa. Economies of scale. This is good work. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. When does all this start? The first private patients will be arriving tomorrow morning. That's cutting it a bit fine. It's business as usual for us. The main changes are in the wards post-op. Any other questions? I'll sort the recovery and ward nurses. Just roll out. I have a few pet ideas I'd like to run by you. I think I'll take the stairs. I'm listening. Well, let's grab a coffee and talk them over. You can tell me about your trip. Actually, I'm meant to be interviewing candidates for the EA position. Uh, come by my office if you want to. Singapore was out of your I see. Nice tie. See? Did you make the shortlist? Yes. Well, then the tie is too lame. Just for the job you want, Gerald, not for the job you have. And today you are interviewing to be what? A time machine pilot? <laughs> this is what all the EAs are wearing stateside this season, so I'm progressive. Well, last time I checked, I was interviewing for a job in New Zealand. I'm pragmatic. OK, you two. Let's be good sports. Welcome back, Libby. I'm glad you made our shortlist. Uh, thank you. You're up first. Good luck. House fingers. To the both of you. Come on, let's go over our prep. So, progressive or pragmatic? I love Gerald. 
like a son. But if Libby gets the job, Gerald will stay on as PA and I'll have two daughters and a son in the building. Devious. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh, milk moustache. <laughs> Guess what day it is today, Sophie? Dishes day. Where are the bowls? <laughs> um, under my bed. So, you didn't look like you went out last night. We didn't. I'm not fun enough for her. Not as fun as Brody. Hmm. So, what's up? Well, next week is Rat Pack night, so we need to master gimlets, Manhattans and martinis. So I got a book. Great. I'll give it a read. Well, we could go over it now. I've got bowls to track down. It's dishes day. Right. Well, what's bugging him? Other than his anally retentive flatmate. No, something's wrong. Maybe his love life. What love life? Exactly. I installed a hands-free phone set on the front desk. That's it? Goal. Confidence. Spin. Can I have a clue, please? Wanting to increase productivity, you installed a hands-free phone set and then ran a workshop for staff to upskill them on its usage. <sighs> I'm underqualified, underprepared, and judging by Libby's get-up, clearly underdressed for this interview. You are loyal. You have integrity. You have an impress... Rachel's waiting for you. Thank you. How'd it go? That was an extremely positive experience. Bit short, though. Rachel's very efficient and she knows what she wants. Watch out for her curveballs. She blew it. What? That was barely ten minutes. That is not a job interview. That is a polite brush off. <laughs> I've never been able to resist a winner. <sighs> Seeing a chance to increase productivity, I installed a hands-free phone set and ran a workshop for staff to upskill them on its usage. Gerald, our main concern in considering you for this job is that you don't have any management experience. Well, there are skills I'd need to acquire on the job, that is true. But what I lack in experience, I make up for in integrity and loyalty. How will loyalty help you negotiate a difficult contract? Well, um, I would. Um, uh... How will your integrity prevent blowouts in your departmental budget? There's no substitute for experience. Like being an EA for big wigs in America, that kind of experience? Possibly. The only reason why Libby has more experience than I do is because somebody took a chance on her, and now it's my turn for a chance. Thank you, Gerald. I've earned... That will be all.